Cloud-based video streaming service VidAngel has a tough fight ahead of them here as they will square off with big names like Disney and Warner Brothers as well. New specialist Ashley Kewish is live in Provo now tonight where she's learned that the company plans to fight and Ashley tonight they're actually celebrating. Yeah, that's right, Dini. And we'll get to that in just a second. But first, a federal judge has granted a preliminary injunction against VidAngel. The video streaming service allows customers to filter out some of their favorite movies, filter out profanity and violence and things like that. Now, this may sound like a little bit of an underdog story, but tonight here at their headquarters, it was all about the party. How's the food, everyone? In this building on Provo Center Street. Excellent. You will find families, friends, and an overall festive atmosphere. Good. And at the center of it all? Good to see you again. This guy. We love having Zoe. VidAngel's CEO, Neil Harmon. Now we're having a Christmas party with all the families. In the three years since VidAngel launched, business has been good. But we have customers in all 50 states. And we actually have investors in all 50 states as well. VidAngel essentially sells its customers movies, then allows them to set their filters, removing things like violence and profanity. Within 24 hours, they sell it back. For $19 in credit, so your net cost for watching a filtered movie is a dollar. You may think the CEO wouldn't be celebrating the day after finding out the big studios scored a small victory, but he is. In fact, they're expanding. And all this, not just a Christmas party, but the setting for a major announcement. We are launching VidAngel Studios. They're going to begin producing their own original content as well. This month, actually, we're launching three films. All the people in this room are cheering for VidAngel to win their appeal, and they're not alone. Supporters from all over the country have donated close to $10 million to help the legal fight. Uh, we're really excited about this program. A battle headquartered um, in this building on Center Street. Well, this building was uh, one of the only bars and nightclubs in Provo, and we joke that we managed to filter the only bar in Provo. <laughs> So what's next for VidAngel? A judge will hear their counterclaim on December 19th and then decide re whether to grant or deny the motion to dismiss. Mike? Yeah, we'll see what happens here. All right. Ashley yep. Kewish, live first tonight. Ashley, thank you. Dave?